So one of the main issues that we had with Sky was that we couldn't get anything over her head. Anytime we tried to put something over her head, she'd throw a fit and pretty much full out try to attack us. In the next clip, um, you'll see her in her cage and I'm just sticking the hand in there for demonstration purposes. Because another main issue that we had with her is that she'd go into guarding mode as soon as she was sky. in her kennel. So as soon as all fours got in her kennel, um, we couldn't go near her cage, we couldn't... Nothing. Nothing at all. Um, you see right there, her head is down at one point. Um, she's just guarding her leash, guarding herself. Just, it was a disaster. Just because this behavior was going on for so long, there was no logical way to work with her um, other than stopping the aggression first before we the actually girl, Sky. got her to take direction from us. You can see in the next clip that um, she's much, much better after a few days of working with her and stopping that initial aggression. Girl, Sky. Day number three, and we made a lot of progress with her already. Um, I think this is a good time to start muzzle conditioning her and, and doing a bunch of exercises and get this moving even faster now. Stop that initial aggression. Before I, I couldn't even touch her kennel. So, Sky struggles when we put her back in her kennel. She goes into guarding mode. So, before she's in her kennel, we have a routine. I put her muzzle on first. So, I tell her, muzzle, and then I put the muzzle on her. I start strapping it up in the back. It's on fairly loose right now. Uh, it doesn't need to be super tight when she's going back into the kennel. Let's go, Sky. I'm gonna tell her house. Good. I'm gonna jam up. So you see how her head is down here, and she's in guarding mode. I want to pick her head up eventually when she gets in there. So I'm just gonna place her back like that. Don't be afraid of her. Um, her head's still down, she's kind of in guarding mode, so I'm going to take my hand, like a cup, and pick her head up. She might make some noises, which is totally fine. Don't be afraid of the noises. She is a husky, remember? So, slip lead comes off first, then the e-collar comes off second, Hear her noises? It, just ignore that. And then the muzzle comes off last. So I'm going to start unstrapping the muzzle and hold the muzzle just like that. And then I'm going to close the door. So you might be asking, what are the clampers for? So the clampers are for when you want to put the sky away in her kennel and you don't have her muzzle on and you just want to, you know, quickly put her away. So you're going to tell her sky house. A few key factors are make sure when she's in here and you do this, her head is sticking out of the kennel. You don't want her head to be inside the kennel because that's going to cause some issues. So instead of reaching in without having a muscle on, I'm going to grab this with the clampers and take it off of her neck. So here she's fine. I'm just going to move this little slider. I'm going to grab this with the clampers. Take it off of her neck. Just like that.
thought she pulled the leash in. Sky, let's go. Place. No, place. Down. Good. Sky, let's go. Place. Down. Down. Good girl. Let's go. Sit. Good.